Hi, it's Lee McDonald, aka Zamo from Grange Hill here, and you're watching South Coast Detecting with Aaron. And remember, just say no to wrinkles and two peas. See ya. Hello all, Aaron out again, back on the park, uh, where I've had a fair few silvers last time I was out. Now, I've not been on this park for a few weeks, uh, I've been giving it a chance to recover. We had a lot of wet weather, myself and Lee, we hammered this park uh, for a good few days and had a lot of stuff out of here. And basically, I don't want residents to start to complain about this. I mean, because it's different if you're on pasture or ploughed land, that's fine, as long as you dig your holes, you fill them in. But when you're on a park, public, public ground, public playing area you know you've really got to be careful how you leave it I mean you can't help leaving a little bit of mud around the hole but when it starts to look messy that's when residents could complain the council could take it off the, the permit or you could lose your permit you know what I mean so you've really got to be careful because I really don't want to lose this this park it's a very good very good area for detecting and if it were to be taken off the permit then uh, yeah I'd be very cheesed off so that's why I've given it a wide berth for a, for a couple of weeks, just to let it recover. I'm back out now. It's not too wet, it's not too soggy. Uh, let's give it a little go. I'm using the Macro Cruiser. Again, I'm using it in four tone. I shall put the settings on the screen so you can see how I've got it set up for this. Uh, again, yeah, four tone, bit of a hot uh, setting. It's very twitchy, but it is also very deep, which is very nice. So I'll see you at the first hole. Let's dig. Right, first hole. What's that? What is that? I think you know. Pop a comment down below. This is the first decent thing I've found. I've been scouring this uh, park looking for an area that isn't just trash. You know, the ju numbers are jumping all over the place. There's there's loads of uh, iron grunts. It's just oh, it's just a mixture of rubbish at the moment. I'm just trying to find an area of the park where the targets are more defined and uh, not mixed in with so many wrinkles. But there you go. No idea what it is. I wonder if it opens. You never know. It might do. Right, let's carry on. So, so far I've found bugger all, to be honest with you, apart from that little thing, which turns out to be a miniature lipstick. Uh, I noticed the grass was looking a bit long, so I uh, had a little chat with the council. I said, hey, any danger of getting out and having a little trim? So here they are, look quitting the grass for us <laughs> yeah like I had anything to do with that anyway I'm gonna wait for these guys to finish and then I'll carry on having a little look around but yeah not getting much today not getting much at all I'll see you in a minute I'll see you at the next hole let's dig all right next item nothing special just uh just a screw let's carry on next one just a bit of lead Good one there. Let's dig it. Okay, I'll check it, see if there's anything else in the hole, but so far all I've got out of this is a baton. With a lovely big shank on the back. I know the Grim Bleeper is a a big fan of a, a good shank. There you go. That's just for you. Let's carry on. Okay, so bottom of this hole, you can see there is some dirty marks in the soil there. Um, and I think it's a silver coin. Been at this for about an hour. In fact, you can just see the edge of it there. Look, been at this for about an hour now. it is it's 1921 George V again 1921 silver sixpence 
Look at that. So really, I've just been digging nothing but junk. I've had a silver sixpence, and then I've had uh, that little lipstick. I'm so pleased that's come up. That's really cheered me up now, because I was beginning to think I was wasting my time here. I've got about half an hour left. Hopefully I'll find some more stuff. If not, that is going to be the best find of the day. Well, it would be anyway, let's face it. Let's carry on. Right, go on here. Okay, this next one's a little bit bizarre. I was looking in the hole here, couldn't find it, and it was in the clock. And uh, I've done a silver test on it, and it is silver. Um, there you go. Check that out. It was once an earring, you can see on the back there where it's broken off. Look at the colours inside that. You see? Is it real? I don't know. I can check it somehow, get a diamond tester. At the moment, I'm just taking it on the bit of silver. But imagine if that stone was real. Oof. Let's carry on. Right. So this hole I'm doing here now was coming up as it's very jumpy. There might even be an iron signal in with it, an iron tone. So look. Now I'm guessing it might be foil. Now there is something there. Interesting, not very glamorous. It's a little nut. That's pretty much how today's been. Just random rubbish. If it wasn't for that uh, bit of silver, that earring, and the uh, silver sixpence, today would have been a, a total write off. But luckily, I found those two items. I think that's it from me today. I am back out tomorrow, possibly. And if I am, so I'll knock out a video and uh, show you what I find. Till then, don't forget to like, subscribe. <laughs> Although going on this video is hard to uh, see why you'd want to. And uh, if you are heading out, good luck, happy hunting. I'll see you again soon. Tura.